Ouch. Now, what are you making, Zand? Well, I'm trying to make some hand puppets. This is meant to be the superhero, the mighty Zand, and this is the evil sorcerer, Chrysador. <laughs> yes, well, good luck with that. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you a trick that will allow you to see through a hole in your hands. <laughs> it's Dr Chris's world-famous how to make a hole in your hand trick. So who here thinks we can use the things on this table to make holes in the palms of our hand that we can see through? No! Well, it's time to have a go. Bethany, how did you get on? So I put the tape on my hand and then I put a rubber band over it. So <laughs> now you can see through. <laughs> it's not really a hole in your hand, but it's quite, I think it's quite a good creative effort. Yeah, now, Abdul Malik, you had a very simple solution. What did you do? I put black ink in the palm and the back of my hand mm -hmm. to make a little illusion that there's a hole in through my hand. It's a good illusion, but, of course, we can't quite really see through your hand. Who wants to see how the trick is really done? Me! So you're going to get a piece of paper, you roll it up into a tube, with the tube in one hand, hold it up to the eye on the same side of your body. Keeping both eyes open, hold the other hand in front of the other eye. And now you can see through a hole in your hand. Wow! <laughs> I can see you right through the middle of my hand. <laughs> I bet you want to see too. Here we go. Tube up to one eye, other hand up to the other eye, Keep looking through both eyes, and magically, I can see on through my hand. Why do you think you see a hole in the hand? What's going on in your brain? Sydney, have you got a thought? This eye is seeing your hand, and this eye is seeing through the tube, and your brain wants to make it all one picture. That is a perfect explanation. Whenever you look at things, your brain is having to process two images, one from your right eye, one from your left eye. And so most of the time, you see more or less the same thing with both eyes. But if you make a hole in front of one eye and hold your hand up to the other, your brain puts the two images together and you see the hole as being in your hand. And that was Dr Chris's world-famous how to make a hole in your hand trick. We've got loads of amazing body tricks to show you. Here's how to confuse your friend's brains using just water. Right, this is cool. Zand, I need a bowl full of ice-cold water. And now I need a bowl full of medium-temperature water. And now I need a bowl full of hot water. Hot from the tap, not from a kettle. I'm going to put this hand now in the ice-cold water and this hand in the hot water, and I'm going to leave them there for one minute. both hands in the middle bowl, and that is really weird. So the hand that was in the ice water feels boiling hot, and the hand that was in the hot water feels freezing cold. I'm in a state of total neural confusion. Zand, what is going on? Well, for the hand that was in the cold water, the warm sensing nerves in Chris's skin became much more active, and all the cold senses were shut off. This fooled the brain into thinking his cold hand was hot. And for the hand in hot water, it was the other way around. So the cold sensing nerves in my skin became more active and all the hot senses were shut off. This fooled my brain into thinking my hot hand was cold. Try it out on your friends and confuse their brains. Ouch. Chris! Ah! I've got an amazing trick to show you! Tom, you've ruined my sausages! Don't worry, Chris, because this trick involves making sausages appear magically out of thin air. Really? That's right! It's Dr Zahn's world-famous how to make sausages appear magically out of thin air trick. Does anyone have any idea how I'm going to do that? No. Tight, tight. What do you think? You keep it inside your sleeve, and then when you clap it out, it comes out. <laughs> yeah. I've just spent the whole day with sausages up my sleeve. Actually, Dr Zahn does often keep sausages around his person, but that is not how the trick works. Judith, what do you think? I think you're going to distract us with something else. Pops that out the window! <laughs> That was the moment where I should have yeah, gone. Yeah, you should have gone and got the sausage. That wouldn't be a very good trick, would it? Who wants me to show you how to do it? Me! 
OK, get your fingers and nails facing out. Hold them about a hand's width away from your face. I want you to look at your fingertips closely and then look through the gap between your fingers at the wall. And what you should see is where the fingers overlap, a sausage appears. Anyone see a sausage appearing? Yeah. Yeah, you can see it? Yeah! Did everyone see the sausage? Yeah! Can you smell it? No. To keep doing it, now shut your right eye. What happened to the sausage? It went away. OK, great. Now, does anyone want to explain how it works? When you put your fingers like this and you look through the gap and you're, you're so focused on something else, everything else around it gets blurry. OK, I think you're getting close. So what's happening is normally when you look at one thing, like a finger in front of your face, you bring your eyes together so the image from both eyes sent to your brain is the same. When you have an object in front of your face that's close and you focus in the distance, you get a separate image of that object from both eyes going to your brain. So what, what you're getting is double vision. And what's happening with the fingers is the double image is overlapping in the middle, and that's what's making the sausage. We've got loads of amazing tricks for you. Here's one to show off how strong you are to your friends. OK, so I want you to try and pull my fists apart. This is a great trick. <sighs> nope, I can't do it. OK, now you do the same thing, but I'm going to separate Zahn's fists using just my fingers. Your friend will be feeling pretty confident at this point. You won't be able to pull my fists apart, Chris, because I have the strength of 20 men and not even a team of... Oh. Now, what Zahn forgot is that he's pressing his fists together so tightly like this, there's nothing to stop them being separated like that. So when you try this trick, just push your fists upwards and downwards against each other so your friend can't separate them. But when you do it to your friend, they'll copy what you did. Just use your fingers to push and pull their fists towards and away from you. And it works. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Yes! Beat you again. There is no stopping my thumbs. What if I told you, Zahn, that I had a trick to confuse your fingers and thumbs? Impossible! It's Dr Chris's world-famous how to confuse your fingers and thumbs trick. I want you all to take your right hand and put your finger out like this as if you're pointing at something. Now I want you to get your left hand and put your thumb up. Is anyone finding any of this difficult? No. no. Well, I'm going to show you a trick to get your fingers and thumbs mixed up. How am I going to make it hard for you to point with your fingers and put your thumbs up? Isaac, how would you do it? Just to do that. <laughs> just, just get your hands and yeah. hold them like that, OK? Well, you are wrong. That is not how we're going to do it. So, Zahn, I want you to put your left thumb up and I want you to point at that left thumb with your right index finger. Now swap them over so your right thumb is up and your left index finger is pointing at it. The trick is to do it in one single movement and as fast as you can. <laughs> quickly. Quicker. Don't. Quicker. Stop keep going. doing keep it going. so, so quickly. Oh, whoa, whoa, Zahn, Zahn, I don't understand. You were finding it really easy to point and if it thumbs up easily... And Let's see if they can all do it. <laughs> OK, so that's a good start. She's off to a good start. No, too there thumbs. we go. That's good, that's good. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, no. No, that's two, two thumbs. thumbs. <laughs> two thumbs, just two right. Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two fingers! Oh, two fingers. <laughs> so does anyone know why this is so difficult? Kirsten, what do you think? Is it because when you're like got your thumbs up, you're not focusing on your points, so your brain is like what you're like wondering what you're doing because you're doing two things at the same time. You're doing two things at the same time. I think you're halfway there. It's because when you move a finger on your right hand, it's controlled by a bit of your brain called the left motor cortex. And when you move a finger on your left hand, it's controlled by the right side. And that's fine, as long as both sides of the body are doing the same thing. But the minute you start asking one side of the body to do something different to the other side, it's hard for your brain to coordinate what it's doing. But the good news is you can get better at this as you practice more and more. Chris, I've got a message from Mum, but I can't understand a word she's saying. Do you think she's been abducted by aliens? 
No, don't worry, Zan. She hasn't been abducted by aliens. This is all for today's body trick. OK, but how do I understand what she's saying? It might be important. Well, this trick will help us figure it out. Ooh. It's Dr Chris's world-famous How to Trick Your Ears trick. I'm going to play you a recording of me saying something, and I want you simply to tell me what I'm saying. It's just me saying something. So who knows what I said? Sancho thinks she knows. Pixie thief. A pixie thief? Play it again. I think it says sneeze, sneeze, and then it says bless me. Sneeze, sneeze, bless me? Yeah. yeah. Well, that is not in any way what I said. So now I'm going to play you what I actually said, OK? <laughs> Does everyone have a listen to this? Dr Zand smells of poo. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's true! It's not true! It is, uh, It's almost never true. It's very embarrassing. So, now listen to the distorted version. See if you can hear Dr Zand smells of poo. Yeah. So can anyone explain to me why, now when you listen to it, you hear... Dr Zand smells of poo. Sanchia, what do you reckon? Maybe because when you first heard it, you didn't expect it to say that, but then when you heard the actual message, then you heard it... Expect is exactly the right word. It's all about what you're expecting to hear. You've probably all had the experience of listening to a song and you can't quite hear the lyrics, but when you read the lyrics, you can then listen to the song and you know what they're singing. Well, that was very clever, Chris. Now, get back to this message from Mum. How am I going to figure out what it says? Oh, well, she just left me a message. If I just put it on speaker... Stop eating so many baked beans and remember to change your pants. What? That can't be what she said. <laughs> Good advice. Game around us. <laughs> no. Yikes. Oh. oh dear. <laughs> oh. Oh. I think I'm gonna need a bigger bat. You might be right, Ronks. It's Dr. Ronks's world famous how to make things look bigger trick. Do you not want to see a trick? Which one of these bats is the biggest? Do you think this one in the middle is the longest? Middle. Bottom is the biggest. What do you think? Which bat is the biggest? Top, middle or bottom? Most people think the middle one is the longest. Am I right? Yeah. Well, unbelievably, all of the bats are exactly the same size. Who thinks that they know the reason why our eyes are fooling us into believing that they're all different lengths? Caden? Mm -hmm. The way the bars are placed. That's a really good answer. Ben? Mm -hmm. It's an optical illusion. Caden and Ben are spot on. Our brains have been fooled into thinking that all of these bats are different lengths. And it's to do with how the balls are placed at the end. And a lot of you thought that this one here was the longest bat, and that's because the balls are fanned out at the end, and that tricks the brain into thinking that it's the longest. Your eyes are drawn to the end of the balls rather than the end of the bats. When the balls are pointed outwards, it seems to extend the end of the bat, making it look longer. When the balls are pointed inwards, it reduces the size of the bat, tricking your eyes into thinking it's smaller. They're all the same. Length. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah! Forget about a bigger bat. I need loads of bats. <laughs> uh, nice try, Rogs. Whew. Son, get me a drink. I'm parched. Absolutely. Hang on. I can't. I 
dodge it. You do it. There you go. Not that difficult after all. Well, I definitely loosened it. I don't think so, Zand. I'm just a lot stronger. Well, not with my next clever trick. It's Dr. Zahn's world-famous how to prove you're super strong trick. OK, Chris, if you think you're so strong, here's what we're going to do. Chris, hold your arms out by your sides. And then using one finger on each hand, I'm going to push Chris's arms down to his sides. Who thinks I can do it? No. no. All right, no. we'll wait and see. <laughs> All right. So, so far, Chris is the stronger twin. But has anyone got any ideas as to how I might be able to do it with just one finger on each hand? Benji, what do you think? Maybe you could do it go like this. Oh. oh, like really whack them. <laughs> OK, try that. I hurt my fingers. OK, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> OK, terrible idea. Chris, arms out by your sides again. Well, you're not, you're not going to beat me, are you? Who thinks I can beat him? Yeah. <laughs> OK, well, put your arms out by your sides. OK, you ready? Yep. Now, stand on one leg. <laughs> oh, there you go. What? Who wants to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> Give me your best shot, Alia. Go, go, go! No. Stand on one leg. Go, Alia. Now go, go, go. <laughs> Who thought it was a good trick? Me! It is a good trick. Now, how do you think it works? Alia's got a thought. I think that when you can balance on one leg, you have to concentrate more on your leg instead of your arm. And so why does that make your arms weaker, Amandi? Maybe because um, oh. you're taking too much messages into your brain. I think that is a very good explanation, because your brain has to send signals continuously to your muscles to tell them to stay strong and contract. So if it starts to have to send more signals to your hips and your legs to get you to balance, it's not able to send quite as strong signals to your arms. Oh, well, that went well, Zand, I think. Oh, it absolutely did, Chris. Would you mind uh, loosening this bottle for me? Of course not, Zand. It would be my pleasure. <laughs> 99! 100! Ooh, that is heavy! But I have superb upper body strength. Have a trick that can make me stronger than every single one of you. It's time for Dr. Ronx's world famous make your arm stronger than anyone else's trick. Right, are we all in pairs? Yeah. yeah! One of you put your fingers together like this, and then the other person pull those fingers apart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, how easy was that? Easy, easy, easy. Well, I know a trick which means that no matter how hard your friends try, they won't be able to pull your fingers apart. Who can tell me how that would be done? Summer? Put your fingers together as hard as possible. OK, let's see if Summer's right. Nearly! I think they came apart then. Great idea, but have a look at how it's done. What I need everybody to do is to take their fingers, put them together like this, and lean them on their chest. And now try and pull them apart. Was it on your chest? On your it's harder, isn't it? Oh, much harder, eh? So who knows why it's harder to pull it from here than it is from here? Joshua? Is it because it's just in midair? You're really close. Who else thinks they've got the answer? Favour? Is it because gravity is holding it down? Interesting idea, but it's not gravity. It's all to do with the positions of the muscles in your arms. At the front, you have the biceps, and at the back, you have the triceps. These muscles work together as a pair, contracting and relaxing, giving movement and strength. When your fingers are here, your biceps are contracting, and your biceps are really strong. So it's harder to pull your fingers apart. But when your fingers are out here, the strength in your biceps goes because they're no longer contracted. So it's much easier to pull those fingers 
apart. Three, two, one, go! Go! Cool trick, Ronks. <laughs> Look, it's easy. It goes slap, slap, little clap, up clap, shake, shake, step in, hug, step back, slap, slap, clip, clip, middle hand, up hand, down hand. It's easy. I've got it, Sand. OK. Got it? OK, go again. Come on! This is impossible, Sand, but I do have a good body trick that will make you confuse left with right. It's Dr Chris's world-famous how to mix up your left and right trick. Does anyone have any idea how we might do a trick like that? Willow, you've got an idea. Maybe if you're upside down, you might not tell which, which hand is which. That's a lovely idea. So if you're upside down, things look a bit back to front and you can easily get confused. Great idea. But who's ready to see how it's really done? Me! So, first of all, I want you to swap your hands over in front of your body like that, clasp them together and interlace your fingers, and turn your hands out like that. And I want you to move that finger there. Ah! No, I said move that finger there. Now move that finger. Ah! Now move that finger. Nope, you got them all wrong. My brain can no longer tell my right hand from my left. Ah! Now it's your turn. That one. No, I said that one. That one. No. No. That one. You only get one go per finger. You can't try all of them. Move that one. No. Move that one. No. Ah! <laughs> OK, so did everyone make the trick work? Yes! Great. Now, who thinks they know why the trick works? Nelly. When you have your hands, and um, when you put them together, um, they're twisting up so they're... Brain doesn't know which one to choose. You've got part of the way there, Nella. I think the explanation is when we put your hands left crossed over with right, we tangle up all the fingers and then put them back to front as well. Your eyes can't tell your left hand from your right hand, so your brain gets confused and sends a message to move the wrong finger. If Zand points to one of my fingers, I don't know if it's left or right, and I don't know which one of the fingers it is. So it's because you can't tell with your eyes which finger is which, and so you don't know which one to move. Chris, that was an excellent trick, and I just thought maybe I could try it with my feet, but I'm going to need a bit of help taking my shoes off. Would you mind? Can you give me a hand here? Uh, Chris? 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 Son, you're hopeless at this. Look, I may not be very good at this, but I've got a trick for you that will make even the best catcher find it very hard to hold the ball. It's Dr. Zahn's world famous how to stop your hand working trick. Now, what this trick does is prevent one of your hands from working. Does anyone have any idea how we might do a trick like that? Ah, uh, Hill? If you put your hand up like that, like, mm -hmm. so oh, the blood goes down. Oh, I like this. So if you have your hand up long enough, the blood supply isn't quite as good and it might go a bit numb and tingly. Nice idea. But who wants to see a trick that will stop you being able to move your fingers? Me! OK, great. Chris, stick your thumb out like that and then use this hand, wrap it around your thumb, and then I want you to squeeze your thumb as hard as you can and count to 60. OK? Are you ready? Go. One, two, three, four. 31, 32, 53, 59. OK, 60. now relax that hand and very slowly and gently pull your thumb out. And now what I want you to do as slowly as possible is open the fingers on that hand. They've got stuck and I can't move them, and I am trying to do it very slowly. Now try and do it quickly. Flick your hands open. There you go. And your hand's working again. All right, who wants to have a go at that? Me! Go. One, two, three, three four, five, six, 58. Keep trying, 59, 60. Now, very slowly get that thumb out, OK? So who's stuck? I can't stuck. Are you really stuck? OK, open your hand quick. OK, so in three, two, one, open your hand. <laughs> Willow, tell us what happened and why do you think it happened? 
I felt a bit like a cramp, but like not as bad. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it happened because we've been squeezing it so hard for so long. When you hold your hand in that position for a long time at a very high pressure, it squeezes some of the fluid away from around the tendon. And so the tendons get a bit stickier and find it harder to pull your fingers straight. And as soon as you shake it out, the fluid can flow back and it all starts working again properly. Who thought that was a good trick? Me! <laughs> Ouch! Look what you made me do! Great yoghurt. Just what we need for today's body trick. Mm. It's Dr. Zahn's world famous how to confuse your taste buds trick. Who likes yoghurt? Me! Fantastic, because I have three bowls of flavoured yoghurt. And what I want you to do is taste them and then tell me what you think the flavour is, OK? There are lots and lots of different flavours for our ouchers to choose from. They must pick which flavour they think each yoghurt is and place it beside the bowls. Are you ready? Yeah! Challenge it, try it and choose the flavour. Tastes of strawberry. Does and it? it's okay. really good. Better than the normal yoghurt that you have? Yeah. Peach. Our ouchers all agreed that the pink yoghurt tasted of strawberry, the orange yoghurt tasted of peach, and the blue yoghurt of blueberries. Challenge it. Are you up for doing a blindfold test? Definitely. Cat blindfold for you. Thank you. We're going to see what Challenge It's taste buds think the flavours are when he can't see them. Will they still be the same? So what flavour is that one? First up, the pink yoghurt. Strawberry. You think that's strawberry? OK. So what flavour is this one? It tastes the same. It tastes the same? Because one of them, you said very clearly earlier, was strawberry flavoured. The other one was blueberry flavoured. Now you're saying they're the same taste. Yeah. What I can tell you is, all three yoghurts are exactly the same flavour. <gasps> and that flavour, it's vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? We just put a bit of red food dye, blue food dye and orange food dye in each one. Why do you think the blindfold made a difference? Ella, why do you think? Because you couldn't see the colours, so it made it, like, different. And why do the colours fool you? Because do you think that a certain colour goes with a certain flavour? Yes, that's right! Your brain trusts your eyes more than it trusts your tongue because it gets the visual information first. So by the time the food gets in your mouth, you've already decided what flavour it is. So when you see pink, you think strawberries. When you see blue, you think blueberries. And when you see orange, you think peaches. It's an amazing trick, and you can try it at home. Do I get some yoghurt now? No. Ouch. Well, look at that, Chris. A lovely green kidney. All it needs now is a little more green paint. Sand, you've got a huge splat of green paint on my blue heart. Well, I think it looks much better now. Everything's improved with a little more green. That's not true. But I have got a good trick that will make you confuse your green and your blue. Ooh! It's Dr Chris's world-famous how to confuse your colours trick. What we're going to do is divide you into two groups, one group with me and one group with Zand, and we're going to show you this list of words. It's called the Stroop Test, and what you'll notice is that while some of these words are written in the correct colour, purple, green and blue, some of them aren't. So that one is the word green in the colour blue. I want you to go through the list of words and you call out the colour of the word as fast as you can. OK, so for this one, you'd say purple, green, blue, pink. Yellow, green. Whoa, 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 who said... Yeah, whoa, 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 I heard a few people say red. Remember, this lot need to name the colour, not the word, and they mustn't pause or hesitate. Try it yourself. The words on the screen are the same as on our chart. Are you ready? Quick as you can, go. Red, grey, grey, purple, yellow, yellow, red... <laughs> yellow, green, red, brown... <laughs> purple, green, blue, pink, red, and... No, nope. that's not red, that's green. <laughs> purple, green, blue, pink, red, grey, blue, green, green, red, blue, purple... No! Nope. <laughs> Who 
found this test difficult? So did I manage to confuse all of your brains and get you to say the wrong colour? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So who knows how the test works? Ruben. Your brain processes the words quicker than it knows the colours. Pretty good, actually. That is a pretty good explanation. So because we're asking you to describe the colour, the information about the word that's written down is processed faster by your brain, and so that gets to the bit of your brain that's going to make your mouth do the speaking faster than the colour information, and it interferes with it. So if you don't slow down, you'll say the wrong colour. So who thinks that was a cool body trick? Yeah!